fee is complete. In fact, I got a little, I got paid a little more. Paid a little extra. I know you want to know why I paid a little extra. Of course. Yeah. Ask me why I paid a little extra. Why did you have to pay a little more extra? Oh, okay. Well, you see, I didn't really have to. But see, this is to complete my master's this year. And then I put a little extra because I intend to continue to go on to my PhD. So this extra will be applied to my PhD, which means I have made a commitment for this next degree. I'm moving up in degrees. But you know, I'm always kind of, you keep on getting a degree, you move up, does that mean you bust out the thermometer at some point and the degrees keep up? Nah, it doesn't matter. But you, but you know, I've been thinking. I went to Fort Beaufort this weekend, you know, with my woman. There's some shopping. Of course, you know, Alice, they treat Alice like a township, like a ghetto, you know, and we don't have a lot of stuff. So we go to Fort Beaufort to get some others, you know, more quality stuff like that. Anyway, so come, we go to court, not often, but once, twice a month. And so we were coming back in, in a taxi, and the guy loads the stuff in, you know. He hears my accent. And as you know, I've been gone for quite a while. And he says, oh, it's you. Oh, how you doing, Maine? Then there's Maine, this and Maine. <laughs> and I go like, oh, it's the New York, you know, the, the American accent. They're trying to, you know, they see the TV, and they're trying to do this stuff. But then I, I kind of made them thinking, you know, what's this, I call it buffoonery. You know, they, they take the, there's a whole lot of, Black Americans, you know, men, female, there's a lot of accents, a lot of ways you can talk, but they always pick this ghetto or this, I don't know, hip, they think hip hop, whatever, what they think they, they doing. And I said, this is like buffoonery. Now, I did a, an audio drama a long time ago, so actually the first real live audio drama I did, Station WPAF. And it was a play called Day of Absence by Douglas Turner Ward. Now, what he did in the play, the play was about basically this little southern town, and all of a sudden black people disappeared one day, and the white people got to, you know, they got to fend for themselves, and all, all the chaos that ensues around that. But at the end of the play, one black character comes, appears back in town, you know. But he's, the way Doug, Doug, Doug wrote it, he, um, he purposely made this character, a character called Ste a Step and Fetch It-like character, he described it, which is a stereotype back in the, you know, the 30s, this, you know, this slow black person, oh, yes, the boss, and that kind of buffoonery. Now, when I did the play, I didn't want to do that, so I, I kept the play exactly the way it was, as an audio drama, but I just changed the character, not the, the words, but his, his buffoonery to update it because this was done in the late 80s, you know, and a, and a pretty big star then was Eddie Murphy, and he talked a certain way. He talked, you know, to, to me that was the stereotype of the day. So that, so, so Yusuf Ahmad, who played the, the, this character, he affected the voice of like Eddie Murphy, or the, <laughs> like that Eddie Murphy, you know, so that, so everybody see that, they, they imitate that. So now I'm thinking, you know, there's the problem. Black people all over, just everybody all over the world, they keep on trying to take from black folks, and black folks are an entertainment source, a source of, of, of buffoonery, not buffoonery, but a source of high entertainment. So we do these kind of things, instead of they taking the serious stuff that we do, it's easier to take this other stuff, you see? Now I have a sense of buffoonery myself, but my buffoonery is kind of weird, because I do this high, uh, high class, but this kind of strange buffoonery, this intellectual buffoonery, and I, I use it to mess with people, actually, because that's my nature. I mess with people all the time, you know, but that's not the point. My point really is, is that, hey, you know, why do they keep on picking on us? Why do they keep on, you know, uh, uh, taking the worst? Why we, why we give the worst? Ah, it's a question. Eh? It's a question for another day because this has been one of those dispatches from the arts director emeritus that that would be me, T, from the Patterson Statement Trains to Bed, letting you know.